So, okay, on to maps, and mm -hmm. um, you guys have this uh, set it, uh, to get st status levels. Mm -hmm. You have to earn 1,300 maps in a given month. Talk yep. about the 1,300 number, yep. and then a little bit about the status levels. Yep, okay, so the 1,300, it, it seems to be a unusual number, and it is, but there's a reason for it. Um, we have aligned our status ranking with the World Health Organization and also the CDC in terms of their um, prescribed amount of exercise per week, which is either 75 minutes of vigorous activity or 150 minutes of moderate activity. In our language, that is either vigorous would be the hot colors of yellow and red, um, and moderate would be the cool colors of, of gray, um, green, uh, gray, blue, and green. Um, so if you earn 1,300 MEPs per month, you are complying with the World Health Organization guidelines on physical activity, which is very different to taking 10,000 steps a day. And due to marketing campaigns by certain manufacturers out there that track the steps that you take, everyone thinks you need to take 10,000 steps per day. The reality, Blair, is that that was a wearable technology company that put a lot of money behind a study that was done in the 1960s in Japan with males, right? So a very different demographic yeah. to today. Um, and they drew a correlation between 10,000 steps and length of life. Um, that's not what the CDC are saying. That's not what the, the WHO are saying. What they're saying is do moderate and vigorous activity or a blend of the two. We're the only device that actually measures that. So I, I like that distinction. We try to make this distinction all the time mm. between activity and, and Arguably, you could say activity can be exercise and vice versa. Mm -hmm. But I think in order to get people to kind of create the right frameworks yep. about how to look at what they're doing, yep. to consider that activity is when you go walk. Activity yep. is when you're mowing your lawn. Activity is mm -hmm. when you're walking your dog. But I, I think it's healthier to not count that necessarily as exercise. Yep. Unless, unless somebody's really deconditioned and their heart rate is moving into the 60, 70 yeah, percent, then that's, that's right. fair. That's yeah. really fair. Yeah, and mowing the lawn or shoveling snow yeah, could, for a lot of people, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. And then, so, and then exercise, mm -hmm. think of that as um, more assertive, maybe even yep. at times more aggressive. Yes. And uh, with this um, direct intention to drive heart rate up and to break a sweat. Yeah, and it's intensity. It, it's intensity yeah, yeah. per minute. And if you get intensity and multiply it by time, you come up with effort. And, and you're right, the delineation really is incidental activity of moving around throughout the day, you know, parking your car at the other side of the parking lot so that you take an extra 300 steps. Mm -hmm. It's all a good idea because, hey, look, sitting is the new smoking and, and we don't want to be sitting at a desk all day, granted. But where you drive um, uh, health benefits from truly is exercise and that is when you elevate your heart rate. So, so that's what this is all about. And mm -hmm. for us, work, your workout prescription and kind of our strategy is all about helping people create an exercise habit. Yep.